Okay, so uh, we have a problem here, and we have, we're supposed to use mesh analysis to find V0. So we're supposed to find the voltage at this node here. Okay, so to use mesh analysis, I'm gonna draw our loops. We have I1, and we'll say I2 here, so I2. And lastly, I3. Now let's draw that a little better. Let's go I3. Okay. So we're going to use mesh analysis and KCL, or I'm sorry, KVL, KVL, KVL here. Um, so let's start with I1, and we'll start from here. So we have negative 400 plus I1, if we go up this way, I1 minus I2 times this resistance, 10 plus I1 times 10. So that's over here and we set that equal to zero. That's our first equation. Now let's take a look at I2, I2, and what we have, we're gonna start here and move up this way, and we have I2 minus I1 times 10, and then we go here, and that should be a, a negative, negative 100 volts, 100 volts there, I believe. That's here, 100 volts. And then we have a plus I2 minus I3 times 10, and that should be everything there. We can set that equal to zero. And then lastly, we have I3 here. I3, I didn't write that very well, I3. And I3 is equal to negative 10 amps because we have this current source here. So, Solving this equation, let's see if we can, let's say we have equations one, two, and three here. Let's put equation three into equation two. So we have I, uh, let's, I2 minus I1 times 10 minus 100 plus I2, and that's going to be plus 100, or plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, because we put that into here, times 10 equals zero. Now, let's simplify. We have 10I2 minus 10I1 minus 100 plus 10I2 plus 100 equals zero. We have the 100s cancel out. We have 20 I2 uh, minus 10 I1 equals zero. So we have, uh, what's that come out to be? I1 equals 2i2, is that what it comes out to be? Yeah, i1 equals 2i2. Okay, so we have that result, and now let's put this i into this first equation. So we have negative 400 plus i1, which we found out was 2i2 minus i2, times 10 plus I1 times 10 equals zero. 
Okay, so we, that simplifies to 400. We have plus 10 I2 plus, well, we forgot to substitute that one. Let me erase. Right, two I two. So we have 20 I two equals zero. So negative 400 plus 30 I two equals zero. And that means I two is equal to 400 divided by 30 amps and Let's do that calculation quick. 400 divided by 30. I2 is equal to 13.33 amps, which means I1, I1 is equal to twice that, 26.66 amps. And we already have I3, I3, is negative 10 amps. So we have these three currents, but that's not what the problem's asking for. The problem is asking for what is V naught? Okay, well, what is V naught? Well, V naught, uh, we have V naught is equal to, if we say the current going through here and here, so V naught is equal to I1 minus I2 times 10 plus negative I3 times 10. So we're looking at the voltage here. So we want the current here to here. And we have the solution here. I1 is 26.66, or yeah, 26.66, 26.66. I2 is 13.33, and I3 is negative 10. So if we do that calculation, okay, so what do we get here? It's 10. 100. It looks like V naught comes out to be 233.33 uh, volts. And that is our solution to this problem using KVL and mesh analysis.